Go ahead. Hi, this is Thomas Saw Armour. I uh, just want to show you today our newest armour plates that we call them our Generation 2 armour plates, which are uh, featuring the Cerakote ceramic treatment. So you'll see there's a little Cerakote decal on the front. Uh, what you'll also might notice if you get one of these is that the decal actually um, it peels off. It doesn't really stick to it very well because the ceramic coating is a very low um, friction uh, material. So anyway, we're going to just show you real quick what happens uh, to saws and how this helps you clean that saw quickly. So here we go. I need the saw. What we're going to do is we're going to get some dirt. We've got some dirt here. I'm going to put the dirt on there like that. Like that. Um, it's like putting it on a Teflon pan in the kitchen, right? So that it slides off. We're going to put a little bit of, little bit more oil on here, like this. Oop. Let's swirl it all around like that. And then we're going to get some, some dust from the grinder over here, the chain grinder. It's basically metal dust, I think, like that. Like this is yeah, anyway, this is basically metal dust. This is metal dust like that. I'm gonna sprinkle that on there like that. A lot of stuff on there like that. A little bit of, bit of grass. Okay. So now that the thing, the reason why this is important is if you're a pro sawyer, if you're a, in wildland fire crew, a risk, you know, structure fire, these things get very dirty when you use them, right? And so obviously the issue there is if you're trying to clean out the equipment for cross soil control, cross contamination or putting back the saw into your into your fire truck and you want that to stay cleaner, it's a pain to clean it and typically you have to use a solvent. Uh, sometimes people even use gasoline to get the oil off, but in this case with the Cerica, you don't need any of that. So here's just a, just a regular old shop rag, it's a little dirty, it's a little oily itself, but now we're going to show you right, how easy this is to clean. Okay, so like this, whoop, just like that, whoop. clean that off there like that, it's got a lot of fluid on it, so, but we'll start here, it just wipes off like that. Right. And again, we haven't used any solvents here. We're just basically now cleaning this off of the rag. So again, just like that. And that just took about a minute, right? And then when you put the saw back in the truck or the compartment or wherever else, it's all good like that. So again, the, the armor plate, it's, it ruggedizes the saw, protects it from impact, abrasion damage. Um, in some cases, people have set saws down like this on hot coals in a wildland fire situation. The heat shield here stops you from burning on the muffler with your hand if you're field sharpening. Uh, contact ignition fires if the, the muffler gets very hot and you get the punky grass or you get uh, tinder. Uh, this stops it from contacting the muffler. And again, anything that gets really, all the dirt that gets thrown off by the chain, again, if you had all that dirt here in the front like that, Again, just, just wipe it off like that, and then you're back in business. So anyway, sawarmor.com, S-A-W-A-R-M-O-R, -R, just like it says there, and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks.